Here we are with Rent a Girlfriend Season 2 Episode 5. And yeah, last episode was mainly focused around Ruka and Kazuya, with Ruka planning to stay at Kazuya's place for the whole night. And then when Kazuya figured that out, he wanted to, to kick her out. Uh, but then he re realized, oh shit, there's a storm going on and it's raining and so she can't go home. So she achieved her goal and stayed the whole night. And it was a bit wholesome and also a bit sad, <laughs> I would say. And very interesting and had some funny moments but yeah if you like what you see or if you want to support me leave a like subscribe or a comment i would really appreciate it and it would really help me but yeah let's get to the episode april 15th seems like a good idea <laughs> is this the same day i mean we saw that she wanted to trade take out the trash I think it's the same day. I think she just came out after Ruka left. And she's a bit flustered because Ruka was staying the whole night. Man, there's so much text, Jesus. Because it often has like text and then subtext. <clears throat> and that's so much at once. Here he goes again. <laughs> Recently, <laughs> indeed, she did. It was her plan and stayed the whole night. I mean, that's kind of true. Oh my, it is true. An honest excuse this time. <laughs> what? Dude. Dude, it's literally the truth. Bruh. The one time he tells the truth and has not a shitty excuse, she's like, yeah, you lie. <laughs> oh my god. Was she reading a script? But she's thinking about that the whole time. <laughs> and she can't concentrate. I don't know if that ma makes things better. Renting her out and then trying to tell her. Oh, today is the 19th. Oh, oh no, it's the 15th. So in four days. But yeah, how could you convince her that it's literally the truth you told her if she's not believing you? Yeah, I guess it's like really a tough choice to think about a good present. I'm also having a hard time to figure out gifts for someone. Oh! What's the name again? Sumi? Oh, that's his plan? He wants her to, uh, he wants to ask her? Oh, she saw that too. Makes sense, she was around. She saw the play. <laughs> She's also flustered from it. Yeah, I guess. Dude, all the time, those people like in the background are like, oh, look at this cute girl. I mean, she is really cute. <laughs> he has to stop himself again. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looks super creepy. This is Sumi is such a funny character because she's like not talking whatsoever. <laughs> Oh, for him. <laughs> Imagine you get a 
role as a voice actor and, just, and they are just like yeah make some sounds like hmm and ah oh she talked a little bit <laughs> three words <laughs> Yeah. This is cute with the with the head. Hell yeah. Looks good on her. <laughs> what could I give Shizuru as a present? I mean, she knows her, so I guess she is a good person to ask for an idea. But for that, she had to has to talk. <laughs> What? Oh, she's typing. Can't talk. It doesn't matter. Oh no! Doesn't matter what it is, the present. It basically just has to come from the heart, right? Flowers. I mean, I guess flowers always. <laughs> uh, I guess flowers always work, but. Or can work, but I mean, it can also be a bit plain, I guess, because it's like such a basic thing. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, just give her, give her something. It doesn't have to be anything special, at least if you put some thought into it and you mean it. It comes from the heart. Yeah, he overthinks stuff, right? It's always like... That he wants it to be something special when it doesn't really has to be. She wants him to succeed. She's on a mission. Terminator. <laughs> what did she find? What's her idea? The roof. What? Fighting? Rent a fighter. <laughs> Rent a rock? Why? She likes it. Oh! Is she the Rue in the Pink Ranger? It is her. Yeah, it is her. <laughs> Dude, I didn't thought about that. This is funny. I mean, she takes all kinds of roles, I guess. Anything that can help her to improve. I mean, I guess that's basically how it works as an actor, right? You have to take any opportunity you can get. In hopes that you can make it big at some point. I was rented. <laughs> Dude, what is this weird combination? Having an anime about renting girlfriends and now having like rent a fighter. <laughs> Dude, her life must be like really rough. Like all the things she's doing, like the rent, rent a girlfriend thing, doing studying, um, doing, uh, Actress roles and all that stuff, playing in theaters and all that stuff. Dude, she must be busy as hell. Sumi is so nice. Right? Exactly, it has come from the heart. Doesn't matter really what it is. But we tend to overthink stuff. I want it to be something special. Maybe something expensive. Or whatever. Yeah, she knows how he feels, pretty much, and... I guess she wants to support him. But... Oh, I'm, I'm wondering if she also has some feelings for him. That's what I'm wondering. But maybe she... If she has, maybe she knows that... He like Shizuru and is not going for him. Oh boy, don't tell me. Don't tell me. 
is she interested in him? <laughs> and that's why she came up there. Don't tell me, dude. I mean, it would make sense, right? Because she's one of the main girls. Oh my god, no! <laughs> no! Okay, his, so she wants to give him a present, I guess, when he has birth, his birthday. So it's upcoming. <laughs> I mean, it's still not clear. Maybe she is just maybe wants to know his birthday to give him a present because she likes him. Or is she like liking liking him, like love liking him? I get it kind of seems that way and I, it would make sense since I guess the four main girls are all interested in him in some way or another. Or that will be the end that everyone, that all these four will be interested in him. Oh dude, it will, oh, that gets rough. Dude, just take something and put your heart into it. Yeah, he's still overthinking it. I can imagine. When I'm getting tired, I'm also not very hungry. Hello! Oh, god damn it! Oh boy. Oh boy! Who's she, Chan? Oh, this girl. Oh. Oh. Oh, is this a present? <clears throat> Did you drop this on his on her balcony? I would say that's smooth. Keep it low key, low profile. I would say this is a good way to do it. I mean, maybe she wouldn't have found it, but Shin, since she found it, it is a good way. <laughs> is there something else? Maybe, maybe it's it's a trick. Or maybe the plums are for her health or something. Maybe they are supposed to be like helpful for like vitalizing your body or something. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's a unique present, right? Something you wouldn't expect, right? Some plums. <laughs> yeah, after credit scene. <laughs> you see, he doesn't know and it makes him crazy. Okay, that's the next episode. Oh boy. Okay, this was episode 5 and a very chill episode I would say. And also very interesting because this episode was basically about Shizuru having her birthday now and Kazuya thinking about what he could give her as a present. And he does what I guess many people do, he overthinks it because it's very basic. If you give someone a present and the person is not a complete bitch, then the person will appreciate what you give the person, right? If the person is not appreciating it and, and feels like you give him something of not a good value, then the person, like I said, is a bitch, clearly. Um, so, yeah, but I mean, it's, it's, I feel like it's very normal for, for us, for humans, that we just overthink it and always want it to be something special, something of value, something unique. Um, and yeah, it's... That's just not really the case, but we still do it, I guess, because nowadays there's so much um, commercial stuff going on with like Valentine's Day and all that stuff and, and uh, Christmas where it's all about like, yeah, buy presents and all that shit, um, which is like purely for commercial reasons. Um, and otherwise we had like an episode with Sumi, which I think is very refreshing after having like three episodes of Shizuru, basically one episode of like a mix between Shizuru, uh, Ruka and Mami and now uh, last episode an episode with Ruka now we had an episode with uh, Sumi which I think is like I said very refreshing um, and yeah like I said um, I don't know if she starts to like him or if she does like him like in the sense of love liking him or if she just likes him as like a friend but she's just too shy to be open about it and maybe she just wants to know his birthday to, to give him a present because he's always nice to her and and helped her to get more confident a bit, even 
if she's not that much more confident right now. But she opened up a little bit, I would say at least. Um, but yeah, maybe she just wanted to know, his, or maybe she wanted to know his birthday because she actually likes him, likes him in terms of love. Maybe, maybe she gets to the point. I mean, it, like I said, in the episode, it would make sense because I guess the end will be that maybe all of those four girls start to fall in love with Kazuya or are in love with Kazuya and then he has to make the decision and we all know which that would be and that's Shizuru unless there will be a harem ending harem ending um which I don't think so um but yeah if if she really starts to like in a sense of love then that's another broken heart <laughs> and I really feel bad for Ruka and Sumi for the same reason if they both are in love with him I mean we know that Ruka is but if Sumi is also in love with him, then I feel bad for those two because they will get their hearts broken. Mami is a different case because we know how her character is, right? She's a bit of a bitch. <laughs> uh, in some people's eyes, she is a big bitch. Um, but yeah, interesting episode, chill episode. I really enjoyed it and I can't wait to see where the next episode is going because it's another episode where I feel like there is no open end. So... We will, we will see what happens in episode 6. But yeah, if you like what you saw or, or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe or a comment. I would really appreciate it and it would really help me. But yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.